Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and today I'm here with a very special kind of game for a very special occasion. Because if by the time you're hearing this... Hello, dog. Uh, it's my birthday. Should be April 20th. April 20th is legit my birthday. So I figured why not celebrate it by playing a game that's actually from... That I actually got from my birthday. From my birthday? My parents gave me this game for my birthday. And well, my family, I should say. Just to be 100% clear on that one start. Now let me quickly make my name because this intro to this game is 5,000 years long. <laughs> so this is going to be a very long video, but it's okay because it's my birthday. I'm not. There we go. There we go. Now it starts. But yeah, happy birthday to me. I forget how old I am. It's not a joke. I just don't remember how old I am. Uh, man, I love this game so much. Not just because I got it for my birthday, but I think this might legitimately be my my favorite um, Legend of Zelda game. Mm, it's pretty close up there, I think. I just love the look of it. I love the kind of, like, sense of adventure. I actually really... Like, even the some of the... Like, obviously, there's a there's some negatives to the game. Like, the eight late-game quest, they unfortunately just ran out of time, so it's kind of a slog at the end. Um, but it has, I think, the, one of the best endings to a Zelda game. One of the best setups. This is the only... I think this is the only Link I've ever actually felt any form of empathy for. Um, because it really is about, like... What's the best word for it? It's like about, it's literally, it replicates the feeling of what it feels like to, I guess, leave. Um, and growing up in certain cases, to go do what you need to go do. And I say that knowing for a fact, like, it's gonna take a while to get there, but it's like kind of the idea of like, oh, you venture out to go have an adventure. But then it also kind of shows some of the ramifications of it too, of like, when you actually come back home and it's like, things have gone bad. So it's very... Oh, I love this game. The long and the short of it. I love this game. A whole bunch. It's my favorite Zelda. And I got it for my birthday. And then funny enough, um, when I got it, I ran... I lost my memory card, I believe. That's the way it went. So back in the day, games didn't have to... Depending on when you see this and how old you are, when you started playing video games. But around the 360 area... No, not around the 360 area. And it was like kind of like... Mm, what's the best way I could say it? Like they like during PS1, PS2, Dreamcast, they used to have like memory cards that you would actually put. I think it started around the PlayStation generation. Nintendo 64 didn't have it. And that was one of the many reasons why it wasn't the greatest console in the world. Um, but you used to have memory cards, and in the memory cards, you would actually keep. That's where you kept your data. Now most of the most consoles just have it like built in, or if you play it on a PC, all you need to do is like make space and you can save a game. Um, but back in the day, it was a little bit different. But I so anyway, I lost my memory card, and I did not have one when this was given to me on my birthday. So I had to play, I think, the first mm, close to five hours of this game on repeat for close to seven months. <laughs> took me a very long time to actually legitimately beat this game. Oh man. Such a long intro. I think this might be actually legitimately the longest intro. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, to, for a setup I'd say. I was gonna say the longest intro is actually um, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword takes 5,000 years to actually get rolling. But that's a little bit different. This one's more like setting the mood, the ideas, telling you where in the timeline you're in. Basically just to tell you why are people dressing up like Link. Here we go. Alright. 
Just hearing this music. Also, I beat the, the first time I actually legitimately beat this game was the Wii U version. It took till that, if you want to know how long it took me to actually beat this game. And the Wii U version of this game I love. I think it's the better version of this game, but I don't have access to a Wii U. <laughs> and I don't think you can do Wii U emulation perfectly at the moment. You might be able to, actually, though. But, yeah, I had this on GameCube, Wii U. I would buy another copy of it on Switch. Are you kidding me? They ported over the Wii U version? Even though I said specifically, yo, I feel weird paying $60 for Funky Kong, I will pay $60 for Wind Waker. <laughs> when I play the goals, I call it. Okay. So you remember what day it is today? Wait, one moment. No. Let me wait till after we get out of the cutscene. Big brother, it's your birthday! Oh shit! That's the same face I make when I get told it's my birthday. See, this is why I think this game was ingenious. Because every kid who gets this on their birthday is like, Oh my god, it's my birthday! But then because I had a memory card, every day was my birthday. <laughs> I didn't have a memory card, so every day was my, was, uh, was my birthday, so it's fake. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Later. Oh. No, wait. If I remember correctly... Come on. Eh. Loop. Oh. Okay. Perfectly fine here. Everything's going fine. Oh man. I love this game. Let's go in here. And by the way, this all <laughs> this video is just gonna be me playing this game until I want maybe the opening portions of it. I don't know. It's my birthday. I can make whatever hell I want. I can make I make the rules here. It's a shame that it takes forever to actually get started in any of these big Zelda games. Well, except for the first one. Ooh, pig. Birthday pig. Come here, birthday. It's my birthday! Pig. Yeah, you didn't think I could target you, huh? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, wait, I know the answer here. I have to approach the pig cautiously. 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 Gotcha! Got the pig. Pig acquired. Don't bother me. I got pig. Mm. See, as a kid, I would also, like, because I would only play in this area, and I had limited time, all I would do was actually just throw the pigs in the water, because I was a terrible little child. Such a little brat. Don't don't talk to me, old man. You're gonna tell me to ZR target, and I ain't got time for that life right now. Burger boy, nice to meet you. It's my birthday. Pig, I'll come back for you later. Old woman, have pig. Today is your birthday, isn't it, Wookie? Well, how nice for you. Tell the truth. Got you. She's basically telling me, go get me a pig. I'll get you a ward. <gasps> yeah. Give me money. Oh yeah, that's 20 rupees, baby. Don't worry, ma'am, I will find you more pigs. Weird. There. Nope, nope. Down I go. What are we looking at, buddy? Where's the pig? There it is. I got you, pig. Where the hell am I? There I am. I don't think he sees me. Stealth. I am the very picture of stealth. Well, out of my way. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck this old man. I have a pig, old man. I'll come back and talk to you later. Pig. Woman, I've brought you pig. Yes, I did. Yeah, baby. 20. I totally stole that guy. If you talk to him, he says, like, I need, I'm gonna get this black pig for my wife. And then I just completely stole his thunder. 
All right, and I think that guy wants me to go from down there and talk, target him and talk to him. So let me do that. Oh, damn it. I was trying to see if I'm like, you just L targeted me. I know what to do. What looks like Jimmy Neutron in the future. His big ass head. Shh. Gonna be very stealthy. Oh damn it, he saw me. All right, I got him this time. Okay, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> he saw me when I was rolling. Come back here, pig. <sighs> okay. Okay, go down. Okay, he can't see me right now. Pig, come here, pig. Got him. All right, let's move on. There you go. Woman, I brought pig. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Take care of these pigs. Yes, you should come up with some names. I'm sure you'll come up with fantastic names. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay, go over here. I mean, just look how... Man. I love the look of this game. I love everything about this game. If we're being 100% honest here. I love this game so much. It's so pretty. The blue. It has such a... It's, I still think this is the best cel-shaded game. With second being maybe Borderlands. No, second being maybe Jet Set Radio. And then Borderlands. If I was going to do a top three... I need to think. Of, I need to think about some other cell shading games, but the ones that speak to me that say this is cell shading: um, it's Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, it's Borderlands, and then it's Jet Set Radio. Those are the three I think about when I think about um, this specifically. All right, I'm gonna go visit the Beetle Bailed. Hello, Beetle Man. Oh, thank you. Bye. Bait bag. Yeah, I can now summon on gotchas. I have all the bait in the world. Oh, sorry, I'm trying not to put it so close to the... Thank you! He looks so appreciative. Thank you, I have one point. That's so much! Never mind. I like getting the pair because I like being a seagull. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. I'm gonna buy some bait. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Cool. Got you. Thank you. Oh, man. Let me tell you. Bye-bye. Later, friend. Alright. Yep. So, if I remember right, you press start. It was also, this is also an improvement I liked from the um, the Wii U version, is that you could just look at the menu. Like, honestly, the Wii U version is version of this game is fantastic, because all you need to do is, like, look at, um... All you had to do was look down at your second screen and then just select everything. You didn't need to pause for anything. It was great. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to return the investment I made on this seagull, but it's fine. I see you. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! Ah, oh, damn it! All right, I'm gonna try that. Wait. I'm gonna get this rupee first. Nope. Okay. Now let me go back. All right. Swoop down. Ah, oh, damn it! All right. I'm gonna try one more time. Ah, oh, damn it. I messed up. I can destroy him. Yeah, okay. I'm not leaving until I destroy you. I just destroy that vase. Go down. You got this, bird. Me and you. Here at the end of the world. Terrorizing. Villagers. God <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on. 
Come on. You got him. You got it. God oh, damn it. How do you go for those trees? Come on. Come on. Stay on target. Damn it. One more time. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Ah. Oh. Why, bird? All right. I tried. I tried, and I'm totally gonna. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Got him 100. Alright, time to return to Link. Yo, what happened to your pot? I didn't do it. Oh, I lost money. I feel bad now. You deserve the rupees that I unfortunately took from you. I'm sorry. But you have to admit, that was pretty awesome though, right? Alright, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. That is the last time I'll destroy that pot. Your pot, specifically. Everyone else's pots, though. Free game. Where is... Where is my grandma? She's up here. Hello. We've been waiting for you. Try these on. Mm -hmm. They look like they might be a little warm for the weather. <laughs> Try them on. In the old days, this was the day boys were considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for the battles with their enemies. But that won't happen to you, son. Perfect fit. Of course, the dog felt crazy. One moment. Okay, I think he calmed down. Let's continue. Mm, give me the soup, Grandma. I came back at a wrong time. I should not. I just genuinely want some good soup. Moth goes. Ow. Door. I was almost perfect on that door. Now to go see my sister. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to my sister. Oh, she got her pot back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, by the way. Thank you. I just want to say, we cool? I'll never do that again. I swear. I can't afford it. So... Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that you're willing to let... Let me make up for my sins. For being such a bad guy. I fell in the water. Totally on purpose. Hello, bird boy. So, so. Yes, they are. Very hot clues. Chomp. Mm Chomp. -hmm. Yeah. Go here. Up. There you go, Link. Mm. Still a dream snake eater. Yeah. Hey. Ahoy, big brother. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. You look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Can you... Close your eyes and hold your hands just for a second. Ooh. Thank you. As a kid, I actually did legitimately close my eyes. I got a telescope. This is the most precious belonging of your sister. 
Mm -hmm. So, well, do you like it? Just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Thanks, girl. Okay, let me first equip your item. There we go. Oh, let me save. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nope. There we go. Hello, sir. He does look weird. Well, I like that you can actually just legitimately look up in the sky, and it automatically triggers this cut triggers this cutscene. Boy. This bird also looks pretty cool. Oh no! I'll go save him, sister. We perfect. Gonna go save the forest girl. Oh damn it! All right, swimming. A birthday rescue. Jump, jump, jump! Out of my way, bigger boy. That did look like I just hit you, but I totally didn't. Wow! I hope they're able to jump like you. Just gonna ignore the fact that a woman fell out the sky, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need a sword. Nope. Give me a sword. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, what? to be exact. Bum, bum, bum. Very good. Oh, that's right. Don't put any... Thrust. Keep thrusting. All I do is thrust, old man. Damn it. Good. Damn it. <laughs> you was too close. Oh, come on. Get in the way of my spin. There we go. Boom. Very good. Shit. I deserve that. Alright. Put away the sword. What was... There we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Birthday sword. <laughs> Again, very... A lot of flavor in this. Thank you, sir. Tell me about this belt. Hmm. Gotcha. If I get ten, I'll come back. 
boom. Oops. There we go. All right, let's go save that mysterious woman. Whoop. Ah. Bum, 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 bum. Crab! Oh no, there's no crab. There's usually a crab. Mm. There's the crab. Ah, oh, damn it. You scared him away, kid. No, excuse me, I have to go on a rescue. Very important stuff. I got very important business to go do. Damn it! Come on. There we go. Mm. I also have this song etched into my brain because, again, the the very silly process of just playing this game with no memory card. Sing, ha, sing, ha, sing, ha. You got this. Wah! I don't need a sign. And I don't need a bridge. Oh, never mind. I know you can do that in later dungeons, but you can't do that now for some reason. Get out of my way, tree. I gotta go find me a lady who fell from the sky. Hello, mysterious lady. Who could it be? No idea. It's a moblin. Alright, all right, wait. Ah, oh, come on. I was being sneaky. Dead. Hmm. I wonder if I can sneak up on the next one. I feel like I can. Up. Damn it. I can't. Because two birds drop them down. I never realized, are these birds supposed to be related to that bird? The big old bird? Got him. Oh, he didn't drop anything good. Sometimes these things, these dudes drop that special item thing, so I wanted to be sure. Okay, he didn't. Don't struggle, man. You're gonna fall from the tree. <laughs> hmm. Ouch. Wow, what's with the getup? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came. Miss Tetra! Thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit, so that bird dropped me at the top of a mountain. Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to go repay to that b what? Repay the debt to that, girl, to that bird. What about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on. Hmm... I'm sure this boy will mean nothing to me. Boy, big brother. Hello. Here you go. Link's motivation. Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Hits, man. This is the most relatable Link has ever been. He's angry. He can't do anything. 
His brother was stolen by a bird. Everything that we can relate to. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yes. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates. Terrors of the sea. I'll tell you what we get. Headache. Tell you must feel your sister being kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? Hello, bird friend. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor old girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And I just, what do you, when do I, and just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, I'll tell you. <laughs> now as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands, and as a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard that word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from the regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with a few long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from the island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you. That's why it grabbed you. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Wookiee here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? How did he know? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it... <laughs> May as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Wookiee's sister has made its foul nest to the north in the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? That place is forsaken. So what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Wookiee a little help now, would it? Hmm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it. Lately, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this Forsaken Fortress can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this should have something you could use as a shield, you know? Something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away in our ship. Oh, one more thing, once we leave, you won't be coming back for a while, so you better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Who's this dude? Hello, beaver boy. Because I'm... <laughs> Yay. I have the power of sword. Okay, let me see. I'm pretty positive I have to go talk to... Uh, I know who I have to talk to. It's not super hard to figure out. Except for me as a kid. I think I actually did take me a while to figure out how to get the sword. And eventually the shield. <laughs> I was not very good. Hello. I thought I heard Arrow's voice cry, is it? Is it really true? Yes, unfortunate. You can tell it's real shit because she dropped the pot. She's like, oh my god, I love this pot, but I love your sister even more. What is it, Wokey? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Ariel? She's still playing outside with the gulls? Excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna just go up here and... <gasps> the shield's been stolen. What? Wokey. Is this what you're looking for? Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. I guess it is true. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? See, everything about this moment just completely... It guts me in the heart, man. 
so, so well done, and also so unbelievably sad. I really did hate leaving um, my grandma, specifically because of this interaction here. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you gonna get splinters and cry? <laughs> Whatever, if you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Good luck, Wokey. Good luck finding Ariel. Take care of yourself. Much longer is this going to go? Do you think? Do you have an estimate? <laughs> such a such a bitch. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take back your island? Take you back to your island? Now he's angry. Angry goodbyes. <sighs> All right, and that's it. I think for this video, this is, this is basically just like a, an excuse to play Wind Waker for my birthday. I hope you like. It. I might actually just return to Wind Waker at a later date. <laughs> I don't know. I really do like Wind Waker, and I wouldn't mind just continuously playing it. I don't know. I hope you liked it. Um, consider it a gift from my birthday. Weird, right? Huh? Thinking about it now that I think about it, I just basically did a birthday gift. To you guys to share with you one of my favorite games obviously it's not like this is a hidden gem <laughs> everyone knows how good wind waker is but anyway that's it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did look forward to maybe more in the future who knows uh goodbye everyone have a good day and i hope you if it's your birthday i hope you're having a happy birthday too and you hope you're having a good day too so goodbye everyone peace